In the Harry Potter series, house points are awarded to Hogwarts students that did good deeds, correctly answered a question in class, or won an inner house Quidditch match. They could also be taken away for rule breaking. At the end of the year, the points for each house are added up to decide who wins the house cup. Throughout the series, we see numerous times where certain teachers may have a bias towards specific students and give or take away points unfairly. In today's video, I'm going to go over each time there is a point given or taken away in the Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and Prisoner of Azkaban. Before we start, I want to make it very clear that this video is based on the books and not the movies. I hope you all enjoy, and without further ado, let's get started with the Sorcerer's Stone. Snape starts out the proceedings by taking one point away from Harry in his very first potions class. Snape torments Harry by asking him all these random questions in front of the entire class when Harry clearly doesn't know the answer. Hermione is sitting right next to Harry and her hand was raised the entire time. She even stands up to try and get Snape to call on her, but he just ignores her. Finally, Harry says, I don't know, I think Hermione does though, why don't you try her? And Snape takes one point away from Gryffindor for Harry's cheek. In the very same class, Snape takes another point away from Harry because Neville's potion collapses and melts all over him. Snape blames this on Harry by saying he wanted to look good next to Neville and allowed him to mess up. When Ron and Harry save Hermione from the mountain troll, Professor McGonagall takes five points from Hermione and gives Harry and Ron five points each. So a total of five points for Gryffindor. Snape takes five points away from Harry when he sees him in the courtyard with a book from the library. Snape says he's taking the points away because library books are not allowed outside the school, but Harry is sure that he's just made up that rule. Snape takes five points away from Ron when he tries to fight Malfoy after Malfoy insults the Weasley family by talking about how poor they are. However, Snape totally ignores the fact that Malfoy was bullying Ron beforehand. Harry wins Gryffindor 110 points when he catches the snitch to beat Slytherin in his very first Quidditch match. This is the match where he nearly swallows the snitch, which then leads to the flesh memory coming from his lips instead of his hand. Professor McGonagall then takes 20 points away from Slytherin when she catches Malfoy atop the astronomy tower in the middle of the night. Malfoy is waiting to catch Harry and Hermione, who are bringing Norbert up to the astronomy tower so that Charlie Weasley's friends could take him away to Romania. Little did Professor McGonagall know that Harry and Hermione were standing right next to her on the astronomy tower, hidden under the invisibility cloak. However, Harry and Hermione were so excited to get rid of Norbert that they left the invisibility cloak on top of the astronomy tower. On their way downstairs, Filch is waiting for them and takes them to Professor McGonagall. When they arrive, they see Neville sitting in McGonagall's office as well because he had been out of bed trying to warn Harry and Hermione that Malfoy was trying to catch them. McGonagall ends up taking 50 points each from Harry, Neville, and Hermione. So 150 points lost in total for Gryffindor. Now, here's why I believe Dumbledore just has a futures bet on Gryffindor winning every single year. Because at every end of term feast, he just dishes out like 350 points of Gryffindor and they win the house cup. At this year's end of term feast, Dumbledore gives Ron 50 points for beating Professor McGonagall's chessboard on their way to save the Sorcerer's Stone. Next, he gives Hermione 50 points for her cool use of logic in the face of fire. If you haven't read the books, Dumbledore is referring to Hermione solving a riddle on their quest to rescue the Sorcerer's Stone. Hermione had to choose between multiple potions that would either kill them or allow them to move on to the next obstacle. Dumbledore then gives Harry 60 points for saving the Sorcerer's Stone. Then, of course, Dumbledore realized that Gryffindor was only tied with Slytherin, so he tossed Neville a quick 10 points for standing up to his friends. So, throughout the entire Sorcerer's Stone book, Gryffindor racks up a total of 180 points, while Slytherin ends up with minus 20 because Malfoy's a snitch. Now let's move on to the Chamber of Secrets. Professor Sprout starts things off by giving 10 points to Gryffindor because Hermione correctly answers what the properties of a mandrake are in Herbology class. She then gives Gryffindor another 10 points because Hermione answers a follow-up question on why the cry of a mandrake is fatal to anyone who hears it. Gilderoy Lockhart gives Gryffindor 10 points because Hermione correctly answers every question on the quiz he gives out about himself. 
He's specifically impressed that Hermione knows that his secret ambition is to rid the world of evil and mark his own range of hair care potions. Percy Weasley takes five points from Gryffindor when he catches Harry and Ron coming out of the girls' bathroom. Percy thinks they are returning to the corridor where Mrs. Norris got petrified to investigate who did it. However, they are brewing Polyjuice Potion and moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Harry then earns 90 points for Gryffindor when he catches a snitch against Slytherin in their first Quidditch match of the year. This is the match where Dobie tampers with the bludger and Harry makes a spectacular catch after the bludger breaks his arm. Five points are taken away from Gryffindor when Harry uses the Expelliarmus charm to disarm Malfoy when he takes away Tom Riddle's diary. No one explicitly says that five points are taken, but Percy says he's going to report Harry to a professor, and Harry says that's totally fine because getting one up on Malfoy is worth five points any day. Dumbledore then pulls his classic end-of-year move by giving Ron and Harry 200 points each when they save Ginny from the Chamber of Secrets and kill the Basilisk, so a total of 400 points for Gryffindor at the very end of the year. So in total for the Chamber of Secrets, Gryffindor earns 470 points, and no other house got any deductions or earned any points. So lastly, let's see how the points shake out in The Prisoner of Azkaban. Snape starts out the proceedings by taking 5 points away from Gryffindor because Hermione helps Neville in potions class. They are supposed to be making a shrinking solution, but Neville kept messing up the ingredients. Snape says at the end of the class, he will feed Neville's potion to his frog Trevor to teach him a lesson. Hermione offers to help Neville, but Snape says not to and that he doesn't remember asking her to show off. Hermione ends up telling Neville what to do under her breath, and at the end of the class, Snape feeds Neville's potion to Trevor, and he correctly turns into a tadpole. Snape rounds on Hermione by saying that he told her not to help Neville, and he takes five points from Gryffindor. Next up, Lupin gives five points to Gryffindor for every person who tackled the bug art, ten points to Neville because he did it twice, and five each to Harry and Hermione because they answered his questions correctly at the beginning of class. Hufflepuff gets 100 points for beating Gryffindor in Quidditch. This is the match where the Dementors enter the pitch and try to suck Harry's soul. Harry then collapses and falls from his broom, and Cedric Diggory catches the snitch to give Hufflepuff a 100-point victory. Snape comes back into play when he takes 10 points from Gryffindor because Harry is late to defense against the Dark Arts class. This is the class that Snape substitutes for Lupin because of the full moon. Snape then tells Harry to sit down, but Harry asks what's wrong with Lupin, and Snape responds by saying, nothing life-threatening, and takes another 5 points from Gryffindor because he has to ask Harry to sit down multiple times. In the same class, Snape takes 10 more points from Hermione for speaking out of turn. Snape asks the class what the difference between a wolf and a werewolf is, and mocks the entire class when no one can answer. However, Hermione had her hand raised the entire time, but Snape chooses to ignore her, so she answers without being called on. Snape then takes 50 points from Gryffindor because Ron throws a large, slippery crocodile heart at Malfoy in potions class. However, Snape chooses to completely ignore the fact that Ron did this because Malfoy is openly mocking Harry for falling off his broom in the previous Quidditch match. Gryffindor then gets 150 points for beating Ravenclaw in a Quidditch match. This is the match against Cho Chang where Malfoy, Crab, Goyle, and Marcus Flint tried to distract Harry by pretending to be Dementors. However, Harry shoots a Patronus charm at them and then makes a spectacular catch to give Gryffindor 150 points. Professor McGonagall then takes 50 points away from Slytherin because Malfoy and the others tried to sabotage Harry in the match. The last points to be given out come from the Quidditch final between Gryffindor and Slytherin. Harry ends up catching the snitch to give Gryffindor a 210-point victory, which wins them the Quidditch Cup. So, in total for the Prisoner of Azkaban, Gryffindor gained 305 points, Hufflepuff makes their first points appearance by getting 100 points, and Slytherin comes out with negative 50 points. Well everyone, that's all the points that were given and taken away in the first three Harry Potter books. If you'd like me to make a video going over each point given and taken away throughout the rest of the books in the series, please let me know by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. In the comments section below, let me know what your favorite book is out of the first three. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.